Now, um, in terms of our notation here, you can see now if I have two vectors. I can record it as a equals to ax plus uh, ax i cap plus a y j cap. Okay, and okay, it's already here. So b equals to b x i cap plus b c j cap. So to add the vector, okay, if you have taken the Mm, 3070, you know that to add two vectors, we have to add x components and y components separately. In fact, it can be compactly expressed in this way. A vector plus B vector equals to AX plus BX I cap and plus AY plus BY J cap. So here we add x components AX and BX separately, AY and BY separately, right? And say this is the x component of the summation vector. This is the y component of the summation vector. And in this kind of notation, you can see the advantage is that, in fact, this follows from the normal uh, algebraic uh, law. Okay. Think about you have two vectors, say ax equals to 3i cap plus 4j cap. A y so equal to two i cap plus uh, let's say uh, two j cap. Okay, we we'll add them. A okay, this is sorry, a vector, b vector. Okay, so if you want to add a vector plus b vector, let's just put them together. Three i cap plus four j cap plus 2i cap plus 2j cap. Now, follow the standard algebraic manipulation. I collect all the term with i cap, right? So we get 2i cap plus 2, or 3i cap plus 2i cap plus, I collect all the terms containing j cap. So 4j cap plus 2j cap. And then I can back out i cap here. So I get 3 plus 2 i cap. And 4 plus 2 j cap. Then I get 5 i cap plus 6 j cap. So I get the x and y component of the vector. So you can see, when I uh, was doing these things, I'm treating it just like some algebraic manipulation. I don't even uh, worry about if it's vector. Right? <laughs> so it helps you to do the vector manipulation. Okay, but please note that, of course, here I directly give you uh, the vectors in the Component four. Okay. If I give you the vector a, b, I give you the magnitude and the orientation angle. You still need to be able to write them in the common form. Okay. If I do the vector decomposition by using a x equals to a multiplied by cosine theta, a y equals to a multiplied by uh, sine theta, d six. And after that, this is the component form. Okay, can you tell me for this vector a plus b, what is the magnitude of the vector? Five or six or something else? What's that? It should be square root of five squared plus six squared, right? The magnitude of the vector. And the orientation angle will be inverse tangent function of. 6 over 5, right? And here, for the subtracting vectors, again, 
with the same kind of algebraic manipulation, you can see that a minus b should be ax minus bx multiplied by i cap plus a y minus b y multiplied by j cap. You just need to repeat this kind of manipulation. So you will see straightforward, very natural. Okay. Any question here? For the vector manipulation. <coughs> Uh, one thing I'd like to mention is that, in fact, for the vector, uh, if you just want to get some uh, qualitative understanding of the uh, stuff, you can do the graphical addition. Okay. Any vector is represented <coughs> by the an arrow okay, with a particular direction and a particular length. The length is proportional to the magnitude of the vector. And the direction of the arrow, of course, is the direction of the vector. Okay. So you can just connect them one by one. Okay? I say this is A, this is B, this is A, B, C, D. So you just <coughs> plot A here, and then you plot B here. Please note that B, you can see A keeps the same length and direction in this one. This B is parallel to B. This C is parallel to C. This D is parallel to D. So after that, you connect the very beginning point and the very ending point. That's a summation A plus B plus C plus D. Okay. And this graph is to show you that actually you can change the order of A, B, C, D. You still get the same summation. Okay. That's a commutative law of vector addition, just as the uh, 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 algebraic addition. 1 plus 2 equals to 2 plus 1, right? So here you can see, if I put A, C, B, D, this, this side looks quite different, but the final result is exactly the same as this one. Here I put, let's say, D, A, B, C. But the final result, this one, is still the same, or here, C, B, A, D. This is still the same, okay. So this is a community. And again, if you look at the algebraic uh, manipulation, you can see this is quite natural. After you separate it to the components, it becomes to some algebraic addition here, 3 plus 2, 2, 4 plus 2, 2. Of course, if you stretch them, to do the B plus A, you are going to get 2 plus 3 here and 2 plus 4 here. Of course, makes no difference. Okay. So this is the uh, back addition, the community law. Okay, now let's introduce uh, this kind of notation to the motion. So here you can see any position vector. The position vector is some arrow like here, so it has some uh, component x, y, z, okay, coordinates. So the position vector in the standard form can be written as r arrow. Means the position vector we will use this r. Okay. So it's x i cap plus y j cap plus z cap. So x, y, z, the three coordinates has been put into the vector form. And so, of course, the impact is relative to the original point. Now, if you want to calculate the displacement, it will be delta r, the change in the position, equals to the position vector of the final point 2, subtract the position vector of the final point, uh, initial point 1, if this is r2. This is R1, so this is delta R. And with the same cut, so you can see this is delta x i cap plus delta y j cap plus delta z cap for x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1 for in front of i cap, j cap, and z cap. So it's just uh, how can we denote these things in a uh, standard vector 4. Okay. And then, 
for the velocity and the acceleration. You can just do the things, the derivative things, but uh, you just do them separately for x coordinates, y coordinates, z coordinates. Okay, let's look at here. For example, v, formally, v vector has to be dr over dt, right? r is the vector, so you get v vector. And this one, how can we take the derivative with the, for vector? In fact, you just need to follow the standard manipulation. This is v x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap d t. Now you take the derivative for each of them. So this equals to v x i cap d t plus e y j cap d t plus e z k cap d t. Okay. Now please note that i cap, j cap, z cap, they are unit vector in some fixed direction, so they are constant. So you can back it out from the derivation <laughs> uh, derivative, right? So you will get i cap dx over dt plus j cap dy over dt plus z cap, uh, k cap dz over dt. And then you can see that dx over dt is vx, right? Velocity along x direction. dy over dt is vy, velocity along y direction. dz over dt is vz, velocity along z direction. So you get vx i cap, vy j cap, plus vz k cap. So this kind of proves that the motion along different axes are independent with each other, right? We take derivative along different directions. So we treat this as a fact before we study the calculus based physics. But in fact, it's just a natural result of the rule of derivative from here. Similarly, if you further take the derivative of a, you can see that you get a equals to a x i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap. Okay. So that's how we can express all these vectors, uh, motion vectors, uh, from the standard manipulation of angles. Okay, let's stop here.